welcome to a special edition of The Film Room with the senior captain, Jeremy Roach. And I'm really proud of this guy for what he's done uh, in his four years at Duke. Uh, obviously, the, I, I could, we're gonna watch and I can talk about the countless big plays he's made, but what he's meant to our program has been so much more than that. So I'm excited to do this with you. Tell us how you're feeling right now going into this last stretch. Uh, I'm feeling good. Uh, team's rolling right now. Uh, I think this is like the best time where a team should pretty much figure out what what it needs to do. And we've learned from our mistakes, learned from our losses and stuff like that. And I think we're training in the right direction, like you say, every day, so. Do you like playing in March better or do you like practicing in September better? What, what do you enjoy more? Uh, definitely March. All right, I, I thought so. All right, let's get into it. All right, so this is the 2022 season. Yeah. All right, so what do you remember about this year? Coach K's last year, um, it was a final, this final four years of fun ride, but this this play right here, this is probably one of the most exciting games of the year for sure. Uh, it was early on, big time matchup between Paolo and- That's when we found out you had a left hand. It, it took you <laughs> all the way through to your sophomore year to find out he does have a, he does have a left hand. Yeah, I don't know why everybody was surprised where I, was, I made a left hand layup at the end of the game, but um, that was a big time play. And then uh, this one right here was definitely just a big a big time moment just for me and my, because I was going to some ups and downs at this point. Um, and then I kind of got going. This this UVA game got me going for sure, just defensively and offensively, just my confidence. So um, definitely love, love watching this and uh, love getting a win at, at UVA too. So this is still a, this is the quarterfinal, same thing, that, that, that same run and uh, Talk about playing with these guys. You know, Wendell makes a pass to you. You got Paulo, Mark, Trevor. Yeah, this is just a special group. I mean, all my all my brothers, Wendell, Trevor, uh, P, Mark. Um, but this moment, I mean, Dell drove in, drew like three defenders. Uh, I was screaming his name, so uh, I think that's how he kind of found me out of nowhere. Uh, I just wanted to lock in and knock down the shot. Yeah, big time play. All right, now we're going to the tournament. All right. And 22 NCAA tourney. You obviously made some big time plays in this. Uh, we'll start with uh, the Cal Fullerton game and you know just talk about this run with this group, what you remember. Because again, it was coming off a loss in the ACC tournament and we had to respond quickly and we did. I mean, that was always our goal to try to win a national championship. I think um, after the ACC championship loss, I mean, we kind of just regrouped and um, kind of just wanted to Want to play for each other, uh, want to connect more, want to play more together. And I think, that, I think we uh, caught our stride in, in the tournament and did a, did a hell of a job for sure. And then this game just was just, it was all just instincts, I, I think, this game. I mean, driving downhill, getting to the basket, finding open open people, uh, defending at a high level. This game was just, it was a high level game, this game. And uh, definitely one of, one of the best memories that I've had uh, since I've been at Duke. So. It's, Especially this play, I, for, I low-key forgot about this this play right here. It was uh, I did the same exact move in practice, uh, playing one-on-one, -on -one, but um, I don't know, it's kind of pulled out in the game. So this for me was one of the more uh, one of the most critical stretches of the whole season, and we were we had the lead for the majority of the of the game, and we come back and they take the lead with four. Here's 420 to go, and you had some of the most important shots. Uh, of the entire year. Let's just watch and talk us through what you see here and what you were thinking at the time. Uh, just what I was thinking at the time, I mean, just these five on the court, we kind of met after the under four timeout, or I think coach called a timeout before this. Um, and we knew this was gonna be the group kind of like to bring us bring us home. So like, we just wanted to do everything we could to get this win. And this shot, I mean, this is the shot. <laughs> we could talk about this shot. Um, so you can, if you want to rewind that, um, once Wendell passed, oh, you want to take it? Uh, nah, take I, don't, it? I, don't know, I don't know how to work it like that. But uh, once when, once he passed it, his heels were way but way under the three point line. So I was like, I knew I had a chance to get to the rim, but it would probably have been a little bit harder to get to the rim. But I knew I would have a clean look at as at a hezzy pull, and it's only four seconds on the shot. And I feel real confident about the shot. So um, definitely some big balls in this in this play for sure. Well, I've seen you in moments like this in high school and USA basketball and and just talk about playing in these types of games because obviously you, you love being in these moments. Yeah, I think it's just how I grew up. I mean, playing with PVI, playing with TakeOver, I mean, we were always in big time games. 
Um, my mom always used to tell me big time players make big time plays in big time games. So I mean, this is kind of I mean what I what I was built for. I love I love the lights. I love just the atmosphere when it's a packed crowd and stuff like that. And just love showing 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 off in this. Um, I could I could break this one. This yeah, this, this kind of this break game down. down. Yeah. Um, this play, but the next one after we'll we'll go through this one this is the the and one. Um, I kind of knew Texas Tech. I knew the game plan. They were, they wanted to force baseline, uh, wanted to kind of force you to the big. But obviously, we got big fella. Um, there's a lob threat. This is the play right here. There's a lob threat. So you kind of have to stay a little later. Until then, I got a chance to uh, yeah. get a little seam and get a layup off. So definitely shout out big fella. And obviously, you know, <laughs> shout out the, the score to yeah. critical moments. Yeah. Same thing here again. For sure. I mean, just trying to. I was. I had a rhythm going here. Um, I felt like I had a mismatch with O'Banner. And uh, got the shot off, and obviously this one felt like I had the same thing. Could get to my spot, uh, what I've been working on uh, all season. Well, that's something you've always been able to do: is get to your spots and your creativity to score. And even in this, we've seen it all three levels: finishing in the rim, shooting from three, off the bounce. Okay, now game to go to a final four. This is just your creativity at work, right? Just creativity getting downhill. Um, I knew. I knew he was going with the lob, so it kind of gave him a little hesitation. He went with the big. And then this last one, just to kind of seal the deal, uh, knew, knew the big was going to help up. Big fellas was either going to have a lob or a dump off and dumped it off for that one. All right, now we're going to 2023. All right, and a um, couple of these moments, okay? Talk, talk us through this. This is against North Carolina at home, 30 seconds to go. Just a simple ball screen here. Uh, I knew that Baycott would stay with, with D-Live, obviously for the lob. Um, and obviously you have to stay with Flip because he's a three level scorer too. So uh, Pete went, went with Flip, uh, kind of got indecisive with, uh, with Mondo. He ended up staying with D-Live and had an open layup. I think RJ had four again, at this time. Still left, left hand layup, still, left hand layup. <laughs> Yeah, and then um, one of the things, in all seriousness, for for young guards that watch this, the way you get low, I mean, look at your stance right there, how you get low and power through. Is that something you've naturally done? Is that something that's gotten better over time? I think it's naturally, but I, I play football, I tell you all the time. I, used, <laughs> I should, I, if I wasn't playing playing basketball, I'd be at... I'd be, go, I'd be at, at Bama, Georgia, but we're we not going to talk about that. <laughs> Uh, this one you can you can take it back a little bit. Um, I knew I knew this one uh, for the high ball screen. Uh, Pete kind of had to show a little bit. I knew he didn't want to just get let me go downhill, and I told Flip to twist it so I could have a chance to reject it and get downhill, and then just kind of make a play from there. Right. I think that was just, just the biggest thing at this point. I I, I had kind of been struggling the team and kind of been struggling offensively. We had a great defensive game, but just offensively we weren't there yet. Um, just kind of wanted to make a play. I think the theme for everybody watching, th these are all big time moments. The, we're not pulling stuff from, you know, just look, in, in these kinds of games, every possession matters, but game on the line, the clutch shots, the clutch moments that he's hit throughout his career is up there with anybody. Okay, we're going to ACC tourney now, all right? So some of the clutch moments here. So it's a four point game and th this one, yeah, talk us through. Um, I think Tyrese had it on the right wing. Uh, Isaiah Wong was kind of playing off him, and then it was like a quick swing, swing, and uh, he was just a little too low, and I, I knew I could get a, sh a clean shot off. Something that me and Jay Lucas work on all the time, just coming off the ball screen, simple left, right, into your shot, and uh, wanted to make a big time shot for this one for sure. Obviously, it was a hand in the face he kind of got at the last minute, but I thought it was a clean look. It was a clean. Look. I mean, well, yeah, it was a clean <laughs> look, but I mean, from the angle right there, it looks like it's a little contested, but definitely a clean look. Okay, so now it's the championship. <laughs> yeah, this you. Yeah, I mean UVA is one of the best defensive teams in the country. So just at times you just got to go in there, just just make something happen for sure. Um, knew the big was kind of getting back. Kia kind of recovered a little bit, but I got a little bit of an angle on him. Uh, just kept the ball high because I know he lo he loves to swipe down and try to get. Who, who are these people? <laughs> They're so excited. Like, it's... Always showing love at every game. <laughs> Always, uh, but I knew he loved to swipe down, so kind of wanted to keep the ball high, um, be able to finish. It's one of the great moments of last year's yeah. season. Winning it, winning it was the, one of the best feelings. 
Uh, just everything that we went through that year, everybody doubted so, us and stuff so like for that. You. No question. So for you, you know, you went to a Final Four, you know, ACC regular season champs, ACC tournament championships, so going into the 23-24 season. You know, just talk us through your mindset for this year and where we are now. Yeah. Just coming through the season, I wanted to just kind of be the backbone for the team. Obviously, I can I can score or, or whatever, but that's obviously I can score when, score when it's, when it's necessary, but not just go out there and just try to get mine. I mean, obviously, we got Jerry, we got Tyrese, we got Flip, we got Mark, we got a plethora of guys who can go out there and get 25 and stuff like that. So I think just coming into the season, it's not just about scoring, but just making an impact on winning. I mean, obviously, Senior leadership is a big thing. Quinn Cook talking about it, just setting the tone every day, whether it's defensively, offensively, and just doing the little things, doing the details, like you always say. Um, it's, that's really why I've had a successful senior year. Uh, it's not really just focused on offense, it's really focused on making everybody else better and uh, making the team better. You Well, you've done that, and that's why we're in the position that we're in. And it's moments like this. It's a three-point game into the half. Flip gets the rebound and kicks it to you. Another. We're not going to talk about that after, <laughs> after the play. We're just going to talk about the main three. Yeah, uh, a little warm. I mean, it was like a just, we do this all the time in, uh, in pregame work. This guy flying at you, one dribble, sidestep. So uh, it's kind of an easy shot, but don't mind the, don't mind the after celebration. That was just kind of in the moment thing. <laughs> all right, in the garden versus Baylor. Same thing, right? Just getting your spot. Yeah, getting to my spot. Um, I think we ran this play twice. I hit Ryan once for the for the dump off before this one, and then the next one kind of got to my spot. A little dump off, a little bump off um, to the mid range. One of the key shots in the game. I, one of my key shots that I love just to shoot. Just a very comfortable shot for me. No uh, question. And then put us up four. For, put us up four, and then a big time atmosphere, big time game um, that we much needed for sure. Oh, and then this one, you could you could you could rewind this one. Um, if you were watching the Georgia Tech game, it was yeah. kind of a back and forth game. Um, we're not really back and forth. They went on like a six to eight-year-old run and got up, obviously up seven at this point. But Jay Boogie came in, gave us some a huge spark, got the big time block on Kelly, and then a four coach finish, semi four coach finish. Semi, semi. <laughs> yeah. Semi uh finish. But uh the main the, thing is you finish. Yeah, that's the main yeah, thing. Yeah, that was that was that's the biggest thing. Just making sure the ball goes into rim and uh, obviously got fouled. A huge momentum play for this game. Um, I think after this we kind of went into the lead and was going back and forth uh, this time. So huge moment, huge moment for this. How about playing in Cameron too? It's something you can take. You know, it's it's like like I, I said this. I think I said this in on the podcast, but. Um, it's like all the NBA players are always going off and they're playing in, thir playing in front of 30,000 or whether you play overseas or something like that. They always say it's nothing like playing in Cameron. Uh, so that's just, just playing in there for four years. I mean, it's, it's just an honor. Well, really three years uh, with the craziest. It's been an honor. Uh, they give us so much support, so much so much energy. And uh, they're like a key to, to our success and why we, win, why we win so much at home. I hope you all enjoy the film session with this guy. Uh, I'm pretty lucky for, for me my first two years to have a guy like Jeremy Roach as a junior, as a senior, uh, being the lead of our program as a player, but, but more importantly as a person. You know, for him, he committed to Duke when he was 16, 17? Seven, 17, yeah. When he was 17, and a lot of times now you got, as a, as a student athlete, there's other options, there's other things you can do. His commitment to Duke has been spectacular. Uh, his commitment when things aren't going well or when uh, we've struggled. His thing is always getting back to the work, taking responsibility. How can I help? What can I do? And it's the reason we've been so successful during his time at Duke. So I'm grateful for you, man. And because it's your senior year, I'm gonna let you sign off instead of me. Uh, signing off, shout out to Coach Shire. Shout out to the media team. Uh, this is the film session with me and Coach Shire. <laughs>